What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm bringing you a comparison on the NNXT and a VST Iris 2 by Isotope. So, first, I'm going to get into why I'm doing this. So, I'm doing this because when I program my 808s, people always ask me why I use Iris 2 or whether I use Iris 2 or the NNXT, and I'm going to tell you why I usually use Iris 2, and I only use the NNXT for the purposes of the video because Iris can be heavy on my CPU while running a video recorder. So I'm going to play the 808 and the NNXT, and then I'm going to play the 808 and Iris 2. So this is the NNXT at C3. And then this is the 808 and Iris. Now as you can hear it's the same, the only difference is the volume. So how about we play an octave up? This is the NNXT. This is Iris. Now right off the bat you notice that the Iris the sample is longer in Iris 2 than it is in the NNXT. So let me go one more octave up. The NNXT, Iris. So what I'm trying to get at here is that the NNXT does not support warping. So if you wanted to play a higher note, it's going to make the sample length shorter. The higher your pitch, the shorter the length of the sample. The lower your pitch, the longer the length of the sample. So let's go down to like C2 and see what that sounds like in the NNXT. That's the NNXT. This is Iris. Once again, the NNXT. Notice it kind of sound like flubbery too. And then here's Iris again. Sounds great. Of course it's low, it's a sub note, you probably wouldn't normally go that low, but you get what I'm trying to say. Next, I want to talk about sliding. So I had a video on how to slide 808s, and it is 100% correct. Um, what you do is you bring this key poly down, click on group mono, put it on legato, turn up the portamento, that way it cuts off. Actually, I'm playing Iris. So you heard the slide right there. But if you notice, if I go too high, the slide doesn't even last. So let's do the same thing in Iris and see what that sounds like. Gonna put my voice mode on mono, drag this down to one just because, and then turn the glide up a little bit. Let me make sure I have the NNXT selected because I don't, I mean, Iris selected. See how that lasted? Much better. So hopefully with the new release of Reason 11 or whatever it may be, 10.5, we get a better NNXT, a whole overhaul, and it could do everything that we see in other DAWs like Ableton, FL Studio, and so on. So thank you for watching, and if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see next.